Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song-specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song-specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This patch has pads, synth, bass, and arps all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here, up to here. There's a piano sound from this note all the way up to this note. Then there's a synth sound from this note up the rest of the keys. And that gets brighter as you increase the song section control. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your intro, verses, down chorus, interlude, down bridge, and instrumental. At halfway will be the medium chorus and the medium bridge, and then all the way up will be the big chorus and the big instrumental. And remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play single notes in the high octave of your left hand, which will trigger piano chords. And you'll play a piano lead in your right hand up in this range. That lead sounds like this. Here's with both hands. This part comes back later in the song before the final chorus. It's part of what's called the instrumental, so we'll cover it in that section as well. For the verses, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. You can voice these chords however you'd like, but here's how I like to play them. Then for the second time you play the verse, I like to play some of the upper notes of the chords as well, like this. You can feel free to voice these chords in other ways if you'd like.
For the down chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. For the medium chorus, you'll have the song section control at halfway. You'll play octaves in your left hand, and this time you're going to play a piano riff in your right hand. Here's what that riff sounds like. Here it is with both hands. You'll notice that I like to leave off that very last note of the last part of this riff, and that helps to move back down to the first position. For the big chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way up. You're going to play octaves in your left hand, and this time you'll play a bell lead up high in your right hand. That lead sounds like this. This chorus you'll play a total of three times through. Then immediately following this chorus is an instrumental. For this instrumental, you'll play everything the same way, octaves in your left hand and that bell lead in your right hand. Then the third time through the instrumental, like we mentioned in the intro section, you'll bring the song section control all the way back down, play octaves in your left hand, and play the piano lead from the intro. And just for a reminder, that sounds like this. So that whole instrumental will sound like this. Then immediately following this is a down chorus, where you'll have octaves in your left hand and simple chords in your right hand, and you'll play those chords down in this range. For the interlude and down bridge, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll start by playing single notes in the high octave of your left hand and a piano lead in your right hand. This is a new lead part. Here's what it sounds like. Now, there's a lot going on during this part, so let's break it down. The first two parts of this interlude sounds like this. Those are the first two parts of the riff. Then, you'll play the one of your key, and you'll play a descending riff, and that's these notes. So here's that first section.
Then for the second half, you'll repeat the first two parts of the first half. Next, you'll play the one of your key. Jump up to the three, the seven, one, and down to six. Sounds like this. So here's the second half. So here's this interlude all together with both hands. Then for the down bridge, you're not going to continue playing that lead. So you only play that lead for the interlude. For the bridge, you'll play chords and then single high octave notes in your left hand. Those chords you'll want to play up here. So I like to voice my chords for that part like this. Halfway through this bridge, you'll bring in the low octave of your left hand to so play full octaves down there. And then for the medium bridge, You'll move the song section control to halfway, play octaves in your left hand, and I like to bring my chords down into this range for this part. And you'll play this full bridge that same way. Be sure to check out the full demo video to see all these parts in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for main stage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all of our song specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Main Stage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, and I'll see you next time.